Yo, what's good, guys? Today I'm talking about the Brooklyn Nets. And I'll give a little prediction at the end of this video about the Utah Jazz game tonight. So Cam Thomas, he's been a, a lights-out shooter for the Brooklyn Nets. You know, he's very consistent. Bro, he, he's probably shooting like 50%, honestly. He's a game-changer for them. It's just about him staying healthy because he was out for a while with an injury. But I'm happy he's back, definitely. And Mikael Bridges, where he can light it up. He's a star. He's been a star for the Brooklyn Nets, and he's really shown out in the spotlight. He's a, a shot creator, for sure. He makes a lot of difficult shots, and he's a good defender. I would say for this Brooklyn Nets team, they're very good defensively. They got some really good defenders like Royce O'Neal, Mikael Bridges, Dorian Finney-Smith, Nicholas Claxton is a great glass cleaner. And uh, De'Ron Sharp, bro, he's, he's improved a lot, I would say. Because, like, there's been times where I think, like, he could be starting. But Nicholas Claxton, like, he's a better center, for definitely. But knowing, like, how good Nicholas Claxton actually is defensively and offensively as well. Because he can score a lot of points in the paint, too. I do think Nicholas Claxton should get some more minutes. But, honestly, it is hard to say. Because De'Ron Sharp is playing excellent as well. Like, he's been getting a lot of rebounds, too. And picking up in the paint, you know. And Cam Cameron... Uh, Cameron Johnson, he's been good from the three-point line. He's showing out, making his threes. That's all it can ask him to do. He's a decent defender, I would say. Um, there's more consistency from the three is what the Nets need him to do. Dorian Finney-Smith, he provides that hustle. He's talking about the individual players. Um, Dennis Smith Jr., you know, he's he shows a lot of heart. He was injured for a little bit. He's going to be injured for tonight's game against the Jazz uh, he's always, I've always liked uh, Dennis Smith Jr. He's an athletic point guard, can get to the rim, dunk, make some tough shots too. He ain't good at creating his own shot off the dribble sometimes. And I would say for the Nets, what they should do is set more screens like for uh, Cameron Cam Thomas. Even though he's a great shot creator on his own and he could like make so many shots off the dribble by himself, I think if he gets more screens, then he could probably like make even more shots than he's doing like he's very impressive i mean there's honestly nothing that he could be doing more i mean too much more but just getting more buckets i mean that helps the team overall he definitely should make the all-star team this year and he's just stay healthy right he's, he's definitely surprised me a lot this season i would say but spencer dinwiddie great play playmaker for the brooklyn nets he's shown a lot especially during when Cameron uh, Thomas got injured and Ben Simmons. Right, Spencer Dinwiddie is really showing out. He makes a lot of threes. He can consistently shoot. Like he could be, bro, he can heat up. I would say for sure. I, I love watching Spencer Dinwiddie use the ball. You know, he makes threes, tough threes, tough shots. You know, it's all what Spencer Dinwiddie can do, and it uh, definitely makes the all the team all around better. And I would say a lot with this Brooklyn Nets team is they make a lot of tough shots. And Royce O'Neal, bro, like, he needs to be more consistent. I know there's some games where he'll go crazy, like, make a whole bunch of threes. But I feel like if he gets more consistent, then he could be a, a lot better of a player for this Nets team. Because he take just because of so many shots he takes, he misses a lot, too. So if he can do that, then that would, uh, yeah, definitely make this team better, for sure. And probably get him some more playing time, too. I think he's done a good job on mentoring the team, because he's a... But he's getting up there in age. He's like 34, 35. So he has that veteranship that he can provide to the team. For the Brooklyn Nets, I, I want to say they're going to be an underrated team for the rest of the season. I don't really know what to expect from Ben Simmons when he comes back because he's always got injury issues. It really seems like the biggest problem with Ben Simmons is him having sometimes personal issues and injuries. It's hard for him to stay away from injuries, which sucks for the Brooklyn Nets. And it sucks for the 76ers too. That's one of the reasons why they got rid of him. And, you know, all we all we can do as an NBA fan and, an, I mean, I'm not a Nets fan, but I'm more of a Knicks fan. But just for, like, Ben Simmons fans, is just hope he can get back and be himself again. A playmaker and getting rebounds, assist. And he doesn't even need to score too many points. He's like a Draymond Green type of player. Like at this stage, he doesn't need to score a lot of points, but if he just get his rebounds, assist, I mean, he doesn't get some double doubles that's all you can ask him to do as a brooklyn nets fan but and then to give a prediction for tonight's utah jazz game i think the nets are gonna end up winning one no, no, no 98 to 80 yeah 98 to 80 because i don't think the jazz are that good to be honest but i think spencer dinwiddie is gonna have like uh 
you know, like a 10 assist game, 15 point. Cam Thomas, he's going to drop like 30 points. Kel Bridges, you know, like 22. So that's my prediction. Colin Sexton's going to play good for the, yeah, he's going to play good for the Jazz. I do want to point out the ultimate key for the Nets to have a successful season for the rest of this season is to keep building on chemistry. It seems like what they have been doing has been building their chemistry, which is a great thing. Just keep the ball moving, keep the pace going right in front of them, and just keep getting locked in. As long as they stay locked in, make shots, defend well, and just keep playing well because they really have some players with a lot of potential. I believe that. So the team is pretty special. I'm not going to lie. And I think it's going to fulfill a lot of fans' expectations. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Should have another NBA Talk video coming out soon. I just got to figure out what words I'm trying to use and make it the best I can.